Welcome to the Can't Talk Podcast by Annabella Lopez. That feels crazy to say, but I'm so, so excited to start this journey and to have you all with me. And like, thank you guys for listening and for like wanting to hear what I have to say. I am so, so pumped. So without further ado, this whole little spiel is just going to be a little introducing me because I know I have a lot of people who followed the Instagram who I've never met before. So I want to kind of walk you guys through who I am, my life, my values, what this podcast is going to be about, and my goal with making it. So let's start off with the basics. I was born in San Antonio, Texas, and then around fourth grade, I moved to Austin, Texas. So the big city at a young age. I lived in a little suburban area though, so I loved that. It was so fun to just like be able to like try new things. At the time, I was definitely scared. I went to five schools in total um, before I graduated high school, and that was just like a whirlwind, especially when I was so young, having to meet so many new people and being the new girl, but honestly, I will say I wouldn't have changed it. Like, I think it ended up just being exactly how God planned it to be, and like, I I just like had a blast in my upbringing. Um, so now I am 18 years old, and I just got to the University of Arkansas. Um, I'm in my freshman year undergrad, and I am studying social studies education on my way to being a high school history teacher. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, high school, like she just got out and she wants to go back, like, or you're thinking, high school kids like gosh I was one of those or I am one of those and I don't know why you would want to go back there and to be honest you know I don't know either but I just feel it in my heart and I know that that's what I'm supposed to do I've always wanted to be a teacher for so long um and just like I really have it on my heart that I can help other girls like and other boys and just people in their teen years like I want to be a support system for them through school because I feel like school right now is just like especially public schools it's really hard to keep the kids interested because I was one of them like I I gotta be real with you guys I hated school hated it um and the only thing that kept me coming back was the teachers that I loved and they inspired me to want to be a teacher and really put this fire in me that like I want to be a teacher that promotes positivity and like a fun environment and like just make school a better place to be and less like school and more like okay like I can do this you know so that's gonna be my goal as a teacher and honestly like that's my goal in life like I just want to be a person for people for you guys um the people in my life my friends my family um just that like they can come to and like I want to be a positive reinforcement that anybody needs like so that's really just like who I am my goals my vibe I guess you could say like my values um but let's see what else can I tell you guys about me so my interests I love social media if you follow my Instagram shameless plug Bella Marie Lopez go follow um or the podcast Instagram can't talk podcast um you can tell like I love and I just have a little fire in my heart for um social media and just like sharing positivity and my life through there to see just like if I can inspire and help other people and also I just think it's so fun and entertaining um also TikTok I love TikTok that's just also one of my fave things to scroll on I know everybody loves to do that I also have an Instagram or a TikTok handle. So that's Bella Marie Lopez with an underscore underneath. And I also have a second account called Sunbum's Biggest Fan. I know it's crazy, but it's a whole thing. I really love the brand Sunbum. You guys, it smells delicious, but you know, that's a whole nother thing. Like if you met me in person, like I'm sure you've heard about me talk about Sunbum, but basically that is my TikTok handle. So go follow too. Um, but let's see, like social media, I just feel like it can cause such a big change in people's lives. And like, I feel like there's a lot of negativity on there right now. And I want to be a light of positivity and again, be there to help people throughout the way. So I love that. I also used to make YouTube videos a lot. So if you want to go try and find that, good luck. Um, I definitely will probably get back into making those too. Let's see what else, what else in high school. Um, and throughout my upbringing, I guess you could say, I loved dance and all sports. 
I actually used to play tennis. Ah, it's literally crazy to say that. But yeah, like, so I don't do any of that anymore. But I still have such a love for the arts and sports and everything. Like, I think it's so interesting. I'll go and watch, you know, music or musicals or dance shows, like anything all the time. It's my favorite thing to do. Also, I was a musical theater kid, guys. Ah, that's another crazy little thing. Also, I love to sing. So that's a little bit about me and what I actually enjoy doing and still do. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? My music taste, guess, you know, take a little guesstimation of who you think I'm going to tell you I love. Yep, yep, thinking, okay, here's the answer. Taylor Allison Swift. Um, she's such an icon. I love her so much. I won't go on and on, but, um, I love Taylor Swift, Maggie Rogers, Gracie Abrams, Olivia Rodrigo, um, so many more, like just so, so many. The 1975, oh my God, I could go on and on. Country music, I love, um, let's see, favorite TV show, Grey's Anatomy, always. I, you will catch me re-watching Grey's Anatomy over and over and over. I don't care how many seasons there are. Currently, I'm on, like, season, like, 16 or something right now. So, yeah, that's the whole thing. I'm trying to get my roomies hooked. Let's see what else, what else. I'm trying to see. Let's check the notes and see what people ask me to talk about. I checked my notes. We're good to go. So, I got a lot of recommendations to talk about some of my struggles with high school drama and my experience with that and literally guys that could be a whole nother thing in itself drama comes and goes friends come and go um it's the way that you handle it and who you are on the inside that matters in the end but you know that's 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 a really long conversation and I think that we're gonna go into that in another later episode but keep that in mind if you're struggling with that right now like you know, what other people view of you does not, it does matter, but it doesn't. Like, of course, if as long as you know in your heart that you're a good person and you value what you value and you stay true to yourself, whoever that is, what other people think and what other people say, don't let that get to you guys. Um, because... I promise you right now, especially in high school, or even if you're dealing with this in college or adult life, like, these people won't be in your life forever unless you want them to be, and as long as you stay civil and hold your head up high and just try to be the bigger person, never stoop down to their level, um, really just be mature, and, like, it really will pay off in the long run. I know sometimes it can be hard to go through things like that, and we'll talk about this more in another episode, but... Like, just keep pushing through, and I am here for you guys. If you ever need advice, you can DM the Instagram account, Can't Talk Podcast, and I am always there if anyone ever needs anything. Um, but let's see. What else? What else? Um, so, like I said earlier, I moved all the way to the University of Arkansas, which is about a 10-hour drive away from my home, which I know it's crazy, and I don't have a car here yet. So, I have been kind of struggling with that but other than that I think like going far away for college was a fun little um moment in the plot of my life I don't know if it's for everybody I don't know if it's exactly for me just yet but I do know in my heart I love the University of Arkansas woo freaking pig like it is a beautiful campus it has wonderful people everyone here I've met is so nice like I have no bad things to say about the university like I love 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 my life here um of course it's challenging moving to a new place but other than that like I love being a Razorback go hogs um what else can I tell you guys I don't know Guys, I'm just so excited to have this podcast, and I'm so excited to finally have this community with you guys. Um, honestly, I think we're going to end it off here. Um, the first episode is going to be actually about um, going out of state for college or just college anywhere and that transition period in your life. So come back for that. Um, I'm going to start releasing episodes on Saturdays. Um, you can stay updated through the Instagram or or just here if you subscribe, which is literally crazy to say. But yeah, um, I can't wait to go through this journey with you guys and get your input. 
again, a lot of the podcasts, it's going to be put together through what you guys request. So if you're not following the Instagram, please go do that. Um, And tell your friends, please spread the news. I really want just to help as many people as I can with this podcast. And I'm so excited to reach you guys and get to know you guys. Um, I'm just, I'm so, so pumped. So thank you guys so much for listening. Oh my God, I hope you can hear my voice. I'm just so, so excited and grateful. And ah, it's so fun. So I know I've been going on and on. So it was so fun to start this little introducing me subsection of the podcast and I will see you guys in the first official episode very very soon